142 North Orchard, Dayton, Ohio. We're going to check this house out. And I was talking to the guys in my office, and a couple of them got money on Paul. I personally would much rather get punched in the face by Jake Paul than by Mike Tyson, even though Mike Tyson is getting close to getting his AARP card. He's still freaking iron Mike Tyson. Looks like somebody was maybe in here uh, high on something, maybe trying to mow the dining room. I don't know what was going on with that, but... Me personally, for a neighborhood like this, I like to go with the Section 8 program, but that, of course, is up to you, the buyer, the rehabber, the investor. You can go Section 8, you can go cash. It is totally your call. The houses that are needing work around here, people are working on them, so be a good place to invest, especially in the, the midst of all these newer houses right here and behind us. So 142 North Orchard, Dayton, Ohio, everybody. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. All right, we got some rehabbers out there in Dayton because I got a dirt cheap opportunity for y'all, but you're going to have to do some serious work to this bad boy. 142 North Orchard Avenue, Dayton, Ohio, coming to y'all for 24.9 man that is the price of like a freaking kia okay that is cheap y'all but this house is gonna need a little bit of love and by a little bit of love i mean like all the love okay because we're gonna need to do everything the interior on this house as you can see from the footage my team has provided to y'all is smoked man this friggin footage that you see here is, in my opinion, what Jake Paul's face is going to look like after Iron Mike Tyson jacks him up this July. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, y'all, who's got money on that fight? Because, like, I personally believe 58-year-old Mike Tyson would whoop some 27-year-old Jake Paul ass, okay? But that's just my opinion. I was talking to the guys in my office, and a couple of them got money on Paul. I personally would much rather get punched in the face by Jake Paul than by Mike Tyson, even though Mike Tyson is getting close to getting his AARP card. He's still freaking iron Mike Tyson, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I also would not want to get punched in the face by Jake Paul, but I really am getting off track here. To be honest with you, you're probably like, what in the hell is he talking about? I just want to learn what I got to do to this house to make a bunch of money but guys look the answer is simple the answer is everything i could stand up here during the video tour and tell you everything that's wrong with the video but that'd be boring because like i would just be listing every fucking item in a house right because you got floors you got walls you got ceilings you got windows you got doors you got kitchen cabinets you got toilets you got door handles you got light switches you got furnaces hot water tanks roofs siding porches carpet right these are all items that go in a house and guess what all of those items on this particular house are fucked up and you're gonna have to fix and or replace them right so you need to do a full ass fucking rehab on this motherfucker and then and only then once you do that full ass rehab you're gonna be able to get yourself a cool 1250 a month in rental income. Me personally, for a neighborhood like this, I like to go with the Section 8 program, but that, of course, is up to you, the buyer, the rehabber, the investor. You can go Section 8, you can go cash. It is totally your call. Either way, dirt cheap property, in need of a big reno, and then you could burr the sucker out, get a whole bunch of cash flow, take your money back out, do the whole damn thing again. And guess what, folks? If you guys are out there and you are in need of financing for that refinance or hell maybe you need private and or hard money to finance your acquisition and your rehab i could hook you up right so just let me know if you need my lenders i will hook you up with my lenders then after you have your lender situation situated and or you have your proof of funds to do a cash purchase and you want to make an offer just submit that offer to my team sales at holtonwise.com if before you get to the point of wanting to make an offer you want to tour it as some bitch yourself so you could put together a line item bid for every single thing in the house you got to rehab and or fix that's totally cool with me because i do not and i will not want to accept or field any offers that are contingent upon any type of inspection or scope of work we get a lot of you yahoos out there who's like oh yeah man we'll make an offer contingent on inspection contractor walkthrough contractor walkthrough motherfucker the house is empty let me know. I will let your ass walk through it whenever the hell you want. You could walk through it today. 
You hit me up anytime before 5 o'clock, I will get your ass inside of that home. Don't be thinking you could just have me pull it off the market while you think about whether or not you want to buy the motherfucker, okay? Because when I have a vacant house like this and you send me an offer that's contingent on you walking it, that's not a fucking offer. That is you asking me to take the property off the market to make it so no other party can make an offer while you think about making an offer. Does that make any goddamn sense from my perspective, from the seller's perspective? No, no one fucking does it. And if you think it does, I know you're a fucking asshole, and we probably don't want to do business with you anyway because your ass ain't going to close the deal, y'all. So I want you to do your due diligence, but you're going to have to do that due diligence at the appropriate time, and that is while the property's on the market because the first one to get their money in the pot, they're getting the deal. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. 142 North Orchard, Dayton, Ohio. We're going to check this house out. Had a little issues with the last video I did here a few moments ago for some reason. But here's the home. This is the neighborhood here across the street. Um, from pretty much here back, the houses you're looking at are all newer houses from a program that was here in Dayton a, a while back. So almost all those houses, I'd say, are less than 25 years old. So we're going to check this house out check the interior the exterior out pretty sweet brick porch here so we do definitely need to do some landscaping for sure but check this property out looks like it comes with an extra roof but unfortunately it's right there <laughs> a lot of exterior work needed windows obviously the yard's pretty decent here especially as far as size of it got a detached two car I tried to get in it already no way in there but you can see a lot of these houses are are newer as well so kind of in the middle of a neighborhood right here where a lot of homes are newer but there is a lot of these also so but take a look at it <clears throat> it's an old school roof on there I actually already went into this house and took a look um, but surprisingly, the exterior of this house, um, I was kind of shocked when I got inside because, like, the structure of the house inside is kind of blew my mind. So you'll see what I'm talking about in here. I mean, it's, seeing that big old dog kind of scared me. Take a look here. How you doing? take a look here it's got the Holton Wise we buy houses sign I'll go in here and take a look but definitely needs some work but it's not terrible not like what I was expecting it's got some pretty sweet woodwork trim this little fireplace the built-in shelves and stuff obviously needs some work up in the ceiling things like that but Needs to be expected. Uh, glass panels in these doors are still good. The, these doors themselves are still good. Looks like somebody was maybe in here uh, high on something, maybe trying to mow the dining room. I don't know what was going on with that, but windows need to be placed here. Uh, overall, like structure wise, like it's doesn't seem terrible obviously needs a complete remodel but kitchen so continue to walk around the floor is pretty solid in here like i don't really it's not sloped real bad and i don't really feel any soft spots or anything bedroom closet little built-in dresser thing bathroom here another bedroom this definitely isn't one of the worst houses I've seen by far I've seen them come back from this and 
be brought back to life in way worse condition than this. So, I mean, overall, it's, it's not terrible. This door here, I had some trouble opening it, but it leads back into the kitchen. So looks like we got the two bedrooms right here, the bathroom, and then the upstairs here. Uh, basement door over there. So, overall, not a bad place. Um, going through the basement and everything, which you'll see in the other video I've got on here. Um, it's, I mean, it's been raining pretty much all day, and I didn't see any thing in the basement, water-wise, or anything like that. So I'm super shocked. Especially looking upstairs at the structure of the, the trusses and the roof and stuff. Like, pretty impressed overall, honestly. So, 142 North Orchard, Dayton, Ohio. You can see the guy over here rocking out this um, Hispanic salsa music or whatever you call it. <laughs> I just talked to him. He's uh, rehabbing that one, actually, so... The houses that are needing work around here, people are working on them, so be a good place to invest, especially in the, the midst of all these newer houses right here and behind us. So 142 North Orchard, Dayton, Ohio, everybody. Pick back up on the video here. Um, like a loft looking thing up here. I don't know. Kind of weird. It's pretty cool, actually. Chimney's super solid. It's a pretty good sized house. This is actually a really cool place. Really shocked at how solid this place looks. Even the wood structure and everything is just like it's not bad. The roof looks good. I mean, from what I can see right here. Very surprised, honestly. If you put some money into this place, it'd be pretty sweet. Let's go back downstairs here. Here. Looks like it comes with a uh, windows are out. Let's see if we can find like a basement here somewhere. Always got to be aware of your surroundings around here. Kind of some decorative ivy. <laughs> Looks like that goes with the outside door there on this little landing. Basement's huge. Electrical panel, cut. HVAC, just kind of sitting there. Water heater, not connected. Dang, that's old. Little game room down here. As far as the actual, actual like structure integrity of this, as far as the 
the walls and the wood and stuff like that is just super surprising. Because, I mean, it's been raining pretty hard. And, I mean, I don't see any leaks, literally, or anything. Let me go back up here. Overall, I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of impressed with this place. So, 142 North Orchard, Dayton, Ohio. Here it is, folks. So, alrighty, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.